Hey, this is Stacy and Terrence with G-Strut. Today we're discussing what fastening hardware we provide for your project. Terrence, we're talking fastening hardware. How do I know what's right for my project? Stacy, that's a great question. You've got channel nuts with springs, channel nuts with no springs, you have top spring nuts, you have easy conical shaped spring nuts, or you even have a standard or metric spring nut, which comes in various flavors. Electric galvanized, hot dip galvanized, stainless steel, and type 304 316. The first step in selecting the right spring nut for your project is determining the weight and force it will bear. Choosing a nut that can handle this load without deformation or failure. Also consider factors such as corrosion resistance and ensure the spring nut matches the thread size of the bolt or screw it will be paired with. Terrence, I see we have the top spring nut. What is the benefit of having the spring compressed like this? That nut there, it's not a very popular nut to use, okay. but to me, because of the price, but it's a lot easier to use, if you would. So this just slides into that? It just slides into the channel and it rests on top, the spring rests on top of the channel there. Oh, just like that? Just like that. And you can slide it, maneuver it any type of way you'd like. The spring is the most popular because unlike welded connections, which are permanent, they allow for easy adjustments and repositioning where flexibility is needed. So the spring nut has the longer spring. How does that help with install? The benefit of this regular spring, it's basically uh, used just to put in place. It functions as a stabilizer, which holds the nut in place until torqued and secured. But an easier way to try to install these, they're very difficult to install by fingers, if you would. So I would just enter it this way, compress that spring, kind of turn it and manipulate it, and voila, that spring nut or top spring nut is right there. Spring nuts are particularly convenient to installers as it frees up a hand promoting quicker installation. And last but not least, the conical nut. What are some of the pros and cons of the conical nut? This is a, a more like a plastic or a vinyl top finish on top, but a lot of end users find this difficult to use in the heat because it'll get too, mm, too much flexibility, or if it's really cold, it'll become too brittle. And again, Terrence, we offer these in multiple finishes. Yes, different finishes. The primary finish is electro galvanized, right. but you can get that in hot dip galvanized, stainless steel with type 304 or 316 as well. Okay. And are all the finishes in stock? Typically, yes. All finishes, electro galvanized, the hot dip galvanized, and the stainless steel. Awesome. Well, thank you, Terrence. For further details on G-Strut accessories or to locate a vendor, visit gregorystrut.com.